wake up windows open to 1 a.m. or later so you can eat great even late. Tradition. The experience. The events. This is ABC Sports Championship Television. The Parade of Nations at the Little League World Series in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania. 16 flags from around the globe. And now we have come down to the final two. Japan against the United States. The climax of a Little League summer. The grass beneath their feet stays the same, but the faces change. Every summer for 56 years, boys with heads full of dreams have made the journey to the middle of Pennsylvania, hoping to capture their moment. Time stands still for two weeks while kids leave families behind to become part of a new family. They come in believing that they will find their moment between the first and third baselines, and some will. But other moments will be found here as well. They arrive here from all over the world, entering this idyllic town wide-eyed, awaiting new experiences, new friends, new moments to share. In my Is this the field that's in all the pictures? <laughs> and then there is baseball. Practice after practice, game after game, playing the sport that you love with your best friends all day long. 16 teams over two weeks battled it out for the right to get to this Sunday. Five, six, seven, eight. Are we on the air? And now it's time. Two teams remain. One country, Japan, has five world titles. One state, Florida, none. Michael Broad has led his Boynton Beach team into tonight's final. He's been a force on both sides of the plate. Not only has he hit three home runs, but he hasn't allowed an earned run. And tonight, he's on the mound. He will face a Japanese pitching staff led by Yutaro Tanaka. The Japanese pitchers have been dominant, and at the plate, they have been awesome. They've outscored their opponents 49 to 8, belting 12 home runs along the way. But last night, Boynton Beach put on its own power display, slugging four home runs, one by Devin Travis. So a Little League World Championship is about to be decided. History will be made here tonight and new moments to be captured. You are looking at one of baseball's crown jewels, Lomity Stadium in central Pennsylvania. Another great crowd on hand for the Little League Championship. The famed hillside filling up all day long. And the youngsters from a Tokyo Little League are ready to take on Boynton Beach, Florida. A championship at stake here tonight. And for the state of Florida, it's the eighth time they've played in the final. And they have failed all seven previous times. And you can see how they arrived here. The youngsters from Florida beating a game team from Saugus, Massachusetts, 9-2. And Japan knocked out Curacao from championship contention, 14-6. Well, good evening and welcome, everybody. I'm Brent Musburger. It is absolutely remarkable how Little League Baseball has grown through the decades. The first championship, well, it was contested back in 1947, right across the river. The Maynard Midgets, a team from Williamsport, captured the title. And then in the 60s, 1963 to be exact, tape delay, the first ABC Little League World Series televised final. And we have been here ever since. Granada Hills, California, captured that one and you can see now that almost three million boys and girls worldwide competing all 50 of the US states are represented including Oregon the home state of my <laughs> colleague Harold Reynolds whom we certainly welcome here tonight and Harold you and I have been talking about this championship 
kind of figures to be a pitching duel with Michael Broad going for Boynton Beach and Tanaka on the mound for Japan. Uh, runs could be scarce tonight. Really can. It worked out great for a viewing audience. So you're going to see two tremendous little league pitchers. Tanaka for one. He does it in a different way. You see his numbers down there. He'll throw you an occasional curveball, and he's got some pretty good heat on his fastball, but he keeps hitters off balance. But Michael Broad, this young man from Florida, has not allowed an earned run. Between the two of these guys, in 19 innings pitch, they've struck out 31 batters. Michael Broad will bring the ball as high as 77 miles an hour from 46 feet for a little leaguer. If it was a major league pitch, that's 100 miles an hour, Brent. And Harold, the only way we can describe him is he's one cool cat, and he has been for the last couple of weeks. Meanwhile, Tanaka warming up. Now, when he's not pitching, he's playing third base and slamming home runs. As a matter <laughs> of fact, seven different youngsters on this Japanese team have teed off, including Tanaka. What's a booty flip here? <laughs> he's got some serious power to all places. That was the center, and then they followed up, like you said, seven youngsters. But Florida's not shy. They got five youngsters that have traded off also with home runs. They slammed four against Massachusetts last night. Broad picking up his third of the World Series. And then they really got two youngsters in the middle of that lineup, though, leading off Devin Travis and then the four-hitter Richie DeJesus. Between the two of them, they are, they've got half the hits. They swing the bats. This is going to be a great time. No telling who's going to be able to pull this one out. You know, Harold, the, the numbers sort of tell you the story, folks. Uh, the Japanese team averaging almost 10 runs an outing. Hitting 364 to Boynton Beach is 322. But now look at the great equalizer. All you baseball fans, the ERA, Boynton Beach, allowing less than a run a game. And you know something else at the Little League World Series? There are so many great stories. For example, there's a woman coach on the Japanese team, and Sam Ryan caught up with her. Thanks a lot, Brent. Mana Omai is one of three female coaches ever at the Little League World Series. Her father is the manager of the Japanese team. So, Mana, how did you get involved in coaching? Uh, the other coach cannot come here for his business, and I represent only Asia Tournament and World Series. Now, you came here three years ago to Williamsport in a different role as a spectator. What did you learn three years ago about Little League Baseball? I didn't like baseball until we came here three years ago, but I came here three years ago. I really enjoyed it, and I went to back to Japan. I learned more about it. And now you're all the way here in the Little League World Series Championship game. Good luck, Mana, tonight. Now we turn it up to the Grove and our young friend, Grant Paulson. Thanks, Sam. I'm here at the Grove where the ball players spend all their time when they're not on the field. This is where they get to trade pins, meet new friends, play ping pong and video games, swim in the pool. But most importantly, this is where the kids can just be kids. Just because a toothbrush is electric doesn't mean it works like a Sonicare. It has patented Sonic technology. Whiter, healthier teeth in 28 days, guaranteed. Ask your dental professional about Sonicare. In our house, movie night means it's Stouffer's lasagna night. It's our turn to cook dinner. Hey, I got the Stouffer's. Oh, great. How about this movie? Oh, I love it. 
It gives us all a chance to eat together. A delicious plate of Stouffer's lasagna is always a family favorite. It's funny how we all have the same taste in foods. Can't say the same for movies. Ah, oh, oh, guys, no. not this again. <laughs> Stouffer's, nothing comes closer to home. I am your joy. Your pain. I am a gift. A taunt. I am an ally. And a traitor. The reason you'll, the be, reason remembered. you'll be remembered. Or lost. I am your first love. first love. Your last chance. On me. On me. And you own the game. Share of what's inside. Achieving your goals. It's a lot easier with Lincoln on your team. For details, see your financial advisor or call 1-877-ASK-LINCOLN. Smooth Reese's Peanut Butter. Creamy milk chocolate. Get lost in a Reese's. It's hard to lose your best friend, especially when it's your son. To go from being the hero to the villain, I've become the snoop, the spy. I pry into his life. He says, I'll never treat my son like this. And I think, if you love him, you will. The Little League World Series. This ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by Oatmeal Crisp Fruit and Cereal Bars. The cereal bar with the cereal crunch. 7-Up and your local 7-Up bottler. Make 7-Up yours. And Honda, proud to be a sponsor of Little League Baseball. A year ago on this very stage, a group of Little Leaguers from Louisville, Kentucky captured the grand prize, beating a team from Tokyo. one nothing was the final in that game. And now we see one of the coaches, Tony Travis from Boynton Beach. He's been the best dancer here, and uh, his son is down there with Sam. Sam, what does he think about all this dancing by Pops? Oh, man, Brent. Well, Devin Travis has been a hitting machine for Boynton Beach. His dad's been a big hit on the field. You got to tell us, Devin, what do you think of your dad's moves? Embarrassing. <laughs> Definitely. Because he does it every time, and I don't know, it just embarrasses me because... He's my dad, I guess. You are turning bright red right now. Not every 12-year-old boy, Devin, gets to play here in the Little League World Series Championship game. Not every 12-year-old boy gets a phone call from Derek Jeter. You did earlier in the week. What did he tell you? He just told me good luck, and you guys have a good team, and uh, you guys have a great chance of, uh, of going all the way. So I said thank you, and that was into that. Now you're playing the team from Japan. You've made friends with these guys at the Grove. I understand they taught you a little bit of Japanese. What can you say in Japanese, Devin? Uh, konnichiwa, which means hello, and uh, sayonara, which means goodbye, and uh, kumbate, which means uh, good luck. So we, we, have, we have fun with them. And on that note, I want to say good luck to you tonight, and I'm going to turn it over to Grant Paulson. Grant. Thanks, Sam. I'm here with two of the primetime performers from last night's game, the Boyt Boynton Each Bunch that finally made it here. World Championship, congratulations. Cody, how come uh, the sideboard's hat hasn't quite rubbed off on Michael yet? I don't know. Michael's just, like, out in another world. What's going on? Where's the sideboard's hat for you? I don't want to copy a geek. 
Hey, you heard it here first. Well, Michael, you face a team in Japan tonight, 12 home runs. You've never given up a home run. Throw the ball in the upper 70s. Uh, how do you plan on approaching this team? Hitting my corners. Nothing over the plate like other teams give. I'm just going to hit my corners. Do you think you can keep up? Uh, you throw in the high, uh, high 70s, I said 78 miles per hour. Can you keep that up throughout the entire six innings and go the distance with the high speed? Yeah. Boynton East Bunch is ready. World Championship tonight. They represent the United States. It's a great atmosphere down here. Back to you, Brent. All right, Grant. Thank you very much. An excellent job by both of you down on the field. And uh, speaking of good luck symbols over there in the Japanese dugout, the origami over there, and it's made by the players' moms, several of whom are here. And it's uh, a thousand crane wings, giving them nothing but good luck tonight. And you know, we've got a lot of cheers in different languages here the last couple of weeks, folks. Base score in every minute. The other team don't even get to bat because we in the time limit. We're ready! Yeah! One, two, three, time is American! Make me look. See that? Mm hmm. That's 51 years old. Uh -huh. 51 years old and it can run a 508 mile. Mm -hmm. Can I do a 502? Uh -huh. Excuse me, Barky, what time's the next water show? Someone should put a sign up or something that says when the water show is. Does anybody here know when the water show is? Grumpiness, another unfortunate side effect of hunger. Grab a Snickers, packed with peanuts, caramel, and chocolate. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. Not the average girl? Meet not the average salad. McDonald's new premium salads. They're not like any salad you've ever had at McDonald's. Try the Caesar, made with premium greens, a warm vest of grilled or crispy chicken, and Newman's own all-natural dressings for a salad that's so not average, like you. New premium salads at McDonald's. Yeah, that McDonald's. Just because a toothbrush is electric doesn't mean it works like a Sonicare. It has patented Sonic technology. Whiter, healthier teeth in 28 days, guaranteed. Ask your dental professional about Sonicare. Mike's been talking about sending his boys to his alma mater since they were born. When he started getting ready for it financially, he talked to me. Now the same State Farm agent who helped you plan for just a case can help you with what could be with education savings plans and other funding options. For help with banking, insurance, and investing, talk to your agent today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The L.A. Sheriff's Department is looking for a few good men. And an ex-juvenile delinquent from New York... I might not be good, I promise. ...is the last thing they had in mind. Bad guys make great cops, and cops make great bad guys. Now L.A.'s newest rookie... His panty liners aren't gonna make the week. ...is about to meet the man who's gonna make him a cop. Ooh. Senior Deputy John Henry Barn. You ready for this? God, I hope so. Let's go! I tell you when I brought you out here from New York, huh? Didn't Ma say I got an angel on my shoulder? They're two partners. I let this dog off the leash, I'm pretty sure he'll run away. Never leave your partner! With one mission. To serve and protect. And zero in common. I was stupid tonight. <laughs> well, you got a gift for stupid. Danny Nucci. You're sweet. That's what my mom says, too. And Ernie Hudson. You will address me as sir! Yes, sir. This fall, the City of Angels will assume the position. <laughs> Tanny, a new drama coming Sundays this fall to ABC. Got it? Yes, sir. Outspin. Hot dogs, hamburg, french fries. Oh, 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 oh. Now, one, one at a time. Four burgers, a dog, four fries. Coming up. There you go. go one, on. two, three, USA! Well, the youngsters from Boynton Beach won the flip. And they pour out onto the field as the home team for the Little League Championship against the 
a group of 11 and 12 year olds from Tokyo, Japan. There is the Japanese lineup presented by 7 Up. And as usual here on ABC, let's let the youngsters introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Hokuto Nakahara. My favorite player is Ichiro. Hello, my name is Takeru Omae. My favorite player is Ichiro Suzuki. Hello, my name is Yutaro Tanaka. My favorite player is Jason Jombi. Hello, my name is Shigeki Umeda. My favorite player is Hideki Matsui. Hello, my name is Jun Nozawa. My favorite player is Ichiro Suzuki. Hello, my name is Hirofumi Yamazaki. My favorite player is Ichiro. Hello, my name is Ippe Endo. My favorite player is Kazuhiro Sasaki. Hello, my name is Toshiki Maiwashi. My favorite player is Ichiro. Hello, my name is Kazumasa Sakamoto. My favorite player is Roberto Aroma. Hello, my name is Koki Tsukuda. My favorite player is Hideki Matsui. Hello, my name is Masato Komuro. My favorite player is Jason Jambi. Hello, my name is Junpei Kiyoshima. My favorite player is Jambi. Hello, my name is Kento Motojima. My favorite player is Matsui. Hello, my name is Eito Ono. My favorite player is Jason Jambi. Harold, uh, Nichiro, and Matsui, we would expect that, but how about the support of Jason Giambi in Tokyo? All those Yankee games. Well, let's meet the youngsters from Florida. In left field, we got Matt Overton. His favorite food is tacos, any kind. Center fielder, Benny Townen. His favorite team is the Atlanta Braves. The right fielder, R.J. Neal. He wants to meet his favorite actress, Jennifer Lopez. At third base, Richie DeJesus. He likes to read and he loves those Harry Potter book series. The shortstop, Jordan Irene. His favorite subject, geography. Second baseman, Devin Travis. When he's not watching baseball, he loves the Dallas Cowboys. First baseman, Cody Emerson. His favorite subject, get this, Brent, recess. <laughs> Catcher, Andrew Weaver. He's a fan of the Orlando Magic. And pitching on the mound, we called him a cool customer earlier. His role model, no wonder, James Bond. The James Bond is no geek. <laughs> <laughs> How about those interviews? Well, those are great. <laughs> wonderful. Well, here he is, what he has done here at the Little League World Series. 11 scoreless innings. He beat Arizona in the big one. And, uh, Harold, let's take a look at the pitch speed comparison because this young man can throw in the upper 70s here. Well, he's incredible to see what he does. Now, as you get a good look, a 70 mile an hour fastball, that'd be equivalent to 91. Now, Little League Baseball pitches from 46 feet. Major League, 60 feet, 6 inches. You will see pitches from 75 to 77 miles an hour when Michael Barad is throwing. That's getting it up there. It certainly is, and the umpire will have to keep an eye on that as Steve Sullivan from Bay City, Texas. He's our plate man tonight. We've got umpires from Kentucky, Panama, California, Pennsylvania, and Warren Hill from Billings, Montana. Just a splendid night for baseball. We're down in the 70s right now. Very little humidity. There is our crowd, the famous hill here in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Night starting to close in. The youngsters from Boynton Beach trying to do what no team from Florida has ever done, and that's win the Little League Championship. They'll face Nakahara to start the game. Nakahara has been on base 56% of the time here the last couple of weeks. He's been an outstanding leadoff man now for the Japanese team. And let's see what Broad does with that fastball on the first pitch. Slap foul down the right field line. And you can see how he's bringing it right away, Harold. First pitch of the day. Now it's not like these kids are going to take a while to loosen up. He's pretty loose. 11 and 12 years old. That's getting it up there. Mercy. Just a little inside. Ken Emerson, the manager of the Boynton Beach team, 
juggle his outfield because of Broad being on the mound. He moved R.J. Neal from yeah, center right. over to right field here tonight. So that's why number five Two is out and right. He figures now. that the hitters are going to be a little bit late on this fastball. And so far he's been right on the money. It's so difficult to catch up to and you got to realize they've probably never seen anybody throwing this hard. How do you combat this. Well you, you back up in the One box. Ball, the reaction time is is minuscule. You see how deep in the box he's trying to get. We'll get in the reaction a little bit later. First strike out of the night. There's a good look at this fastball. It's just it grips at all four seams and just lets it fly. That was 76 miles an hour. That's equivalent to a 98 mile an hour major league fastball. Now here's Omai, son of the Japanese manager. That's his sister that Sam interviewed, one of the coaches over there. He's been on base 47% of the time and he slaps one foul the other way. Now they're going to run Neil over to left field <laughs> since the lefties are going to be a little bit late. <laughs> I might enter into this game in the fifth or the sixth. You never know with these little league managers. Always trying to stay ahead of the game. De Jesus now shortens up at third a step. He's in on the grass, guarding the line here against a left-handed hitter. And De Jesus might get some business before the night's over. Get a good look at the open stance. Now with an open stance, you got to come back and close. He still stays open. You try to do anything to speed yourself up. To get your hands through that zone when somebody's throwing this hard. Good old country hardball. Tried to throw a little bit of a changeup. I think that's the one thing he doesn't want to do is speed up their bat all of a sudden. One and two, looking for a second strikeout here in the first inning. We notice that the uh, shortstop is battling just a little bit of a sun problem right now. Irene has switched over to play shortstop tonight, shading his eyes. You can see with his glove there, and uh, of course the uh, the sun will go down behind the stands here rather quickly. But this is starting an hour earlier, and the left field and deep off the wall. Oh my! Pulls into second base with a two-strike double. Nice piece of hitting. Just caught up to the fastball. Fortunately for Michael Broad, it stayed in the ballpark. This ball was hit pretty good. Fastball right down the middle. He's a little bit late, but he had it. He caught up to it just enough of it to drive it off the wall. Now here comes the big fella. Otoro Tanaka. Been on base 61% of the time here at the Little League World Series. Slammed the two home runs in the international final against Curacao. The pitcher tonight has the catcher. Oh my takes third with one out. That is a big play right there. Third base becomes really scoring position in little league baseball. And then you got to minimize your mistakes when you're playing against a team like this. But third base we've seen time and time again pass ball different ways to score with defenses being 205. Get into the wind up OK before you set up. So when he goes to his windup, then they want him to get set up. When you watch Tanaka, well, you go way back in the lore of Japanese baseball. Sadahara O oh featured. Uh, he turned, I turned, stance. same time, synonymous timing. But he finished and you didn't come back, coach. I did come that's back. A, that's a visit. So uh, Kenny is charged with a visit. One ball. He was saying that, that he went out the same time that the coach went to talk to the hitter. And the umpire disagreed. Well, I was talking about Sadahara O, oh, and you can see how the weight is uh, is way back. And after the third visit in any inning or the fourth visit in the game, Michael Broad has to be brought out. And watch the weight back here on tonight. Toe up. Oh. Broad is being very fine with him, and he's falling behind 3 0 on the big man with Omeda up next. And Omeda is no easy out. He's been on base 78% of the time. We 
We've seen a lot of 3 0 swings in this Little League World Series. Coach is not afraid to cut them loose. It's Omeda will be next to the Japanese team. Runner on at third base with one out in the uh, top of the first inning. Michael Broad of Boynton Beach. Throwing it right by him now. So after falling behind by three balls here, he's right back in at 3-2 now. Here's a good look. He's trying to look for something inside. The ball ends up on the outside half. Now they're setting up the catcher late because I think they felt like they were being tipped off on location. High fly ball. Playable in left field. Overton makes the put out. Oh my, coming home. The throw. hit so high it left him time to get behind it and what a block by the catcher Brent Mercy Weaver right behind what's the play by Weaver the catcher outside outside of the great throw boy it almost looked like that plate umpire was getting ready to call safe wasn't it folks close let's just say real close but Boynton Beach will take it and he'll be coming up now at the bottom of the first inning Introducing Oatmeal Crisp Fruit and Cereal Bars. Real Oatmeal Crisp Cereal layered with real fruit. Delicious, crispy, not your usual fruit and cereal bar. New Oatmeal Crisp Fruit and Cereal Bars. It's the cereal bar with the cereal crunch. Put my name on the list. There's no place like Outback. With Call Ahead Seating, Nelson. just call up, get on the list, and you'll be seated in no time. Outback's Call Ahead Seating. You know what's the biggest problem advertising the refreshing taste of 7-Up? Getting people to sit still for your commercials. Come on. Breathe. Well, problem solved. Here you go, sir. Enjoy yourself. Making sure you watch the whole thing. Pay attention. Hey, you can. The NFL's preseason proving grounds. Give me back my job again. Monday Night Football, Colts, Broncos, Monday night on ABC. The bottom of the first inning, and the Japanese team takes the field from the third base dugout here at Lamedy Stadium. Uh, huddle around Tanaka at the mound, which is a tradition. And this is the lineup that Tanaka will be looking at from Boynton Beach, brought to you by 7-Up, and let's let these youngsters from South Florida introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Devin Chavis, and my favorite player is Gary Sheffield. Hi, my name is Jordan Irene, and my favorite player is Yvonne Rodriguez. Hi, I'm Michael Broad, and my favorite player is Derek Jeter. Hi, my name is Richard Jesus. My favorite player is Andrew Jones. Hi, my name is RJ Neal, and my favorite player is Tony Hunter. Hi, my name is Cody Emerson, and my favorite player is Don Will. Hi, my name is Benny Tannen, and my favorite player is Andrew Jones. My name is Matt Olsen. And my favorite player is Juan Ignacio. Hi, my name is Andrew Weaver. My favorite player is Alfonso Soriano. My name is Patrick Roller. My favorite player is Alex Gonzalez. Hi, my name is Ricky Sabatino. My favorite player is Derek Peter. 
Well, an assortment of Marlins scattered in there with Yankees and Braves as the youngsters' favorites here. Well, let's look at the youngsters from Japan and how they line up defensively. In left field, we got Toshiki Maobashi. His favorite movie is Jurassic Park. In center field, we got Ipe Endo. His favorite team is Seattle Mariners. In right field, we got Okato Nakahara. His favorite player is Ichiro Suzuki. At third base, we got Hirofumi Yamazaki. His favorite food is pizza. At shortstop, this youngster can pick it. Kazumasa Sakamoto. His favorite subject is home economics. At second base, Kento Matojima. He says, give me noodles, man. I love noodles. The first baseman, Shigeki Omeda. His favorite subject is music. The catcher is Jun Anozawa. His favorite subject is English. And the pitcher, we've talked about him all day, Yutaro Takanara. And his favorite subject is math. The well, manager, Omai, oh has a 14-man roster here at the Little League World Series. And the rules say that uh, everyone has to play at least one complete inning defensively or one at bat. So already he has made his first substitution. He has sent Matojima out to play second base defensively. Well, here's how the field's comparison. You know, in Little League Baseball, you see a major league field. This is your average big league ballpark. You know, they all have different things on them. But Little League is pretty simple. It's 205 feet all the way around, 46 feet from pitcher's mound, and 60 feet on the base paths. That's how the little guys match up. Remember, 11 and 12 years old, and they play six innings in these games. Well, here comes the leading hitter at this year's Little League World Series. He's a pepper pot, Devin Travis. He's been on base 69% of the time. And for those youngsters from Saugus, Mass, they hope they never have to face him in competition again. He went six for six in the two games that those two teams split. Most important, of course, last night when this team from Boynton Beach won the United States Championship. Tanaka ready with his first pitch. Whee! And we're going to see more of a breaking ball from no, Tanaka along with a fastball. Probably doesn't bring it quite as hard as Broad does, but they we'll bet, see. They That's his pops, Tony Travis, coaching down third base here for Boynton Beach. Whee! You're probably thinking at home, first pitch curveball. Well, they scout each other, Brent. It's amazing. How they come out, they watch the games, and they scout, and they know Travis jumps on that first pitch fastball a lot. Tanaka with a little bit of a hitch, nothing like Nomo's, uh, but uh, you notice a lot of pitchers who come out of Asia will have that little bit of pause before they bring it, getting the weight distributed and then the follow through. Swung on and missed. And Tanaka opens up the game with a strikeout. Here's what Brent's talking about, that little hesitation, and then comes through. Yeah, and he doesn't, he's got great mechanics. He doesn't really pause that long like you were saying. A lot of times that pause can throw you off because you start trying to start your swing too early. Jordan Irie, and on base 57 percent of the time for the Floridians oh. stepping in and uh, just missing major league picks and be measured around 88 miles an hour. With the hesitation that he has it looks like it's a little bit harder than that then don't be slighted that's still getting it up there pretty good for Little League. It may take a time around Harold for the uh, for the youngster for Boynton Beach to get a timing and a feel for this delivery too as we watch now from mass cam. Oh. No, you're absolutely right. It takes a little bit of time to figure that out. Huh? You know, it's an interesting story with the catcher. Hey, Do you know? A little bit too lax up there, okay? If we don't swat, swing the bat, we can't hit the ball. That was a very good eye on that. Okay, but if he's gonna come with that fastball, we like it, let's start jumping on it, okay? Don't go in the hole, right? Hey, 2-1. Let's go. One day. That's good advice. Look for that fastball. You can always adjust to an off-speed pitch. Look for a fastball and then adjust. Don't look off-speed and try to catch up to a fastball. It doesn't happen very often. Out of the first inning, and no score. I can't tell his call. I don't know if he's saying ball or strike, and they have to wait to see if he's going to point or not. 
The beauty of television. Yeah. We can just wait. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Much tougher on a radio announcer, I might add. <laughs> Part of the great crowd here with tremendous crowds they've had the last couple of weeks. Count is full with, with one out. A year ago, the United States beat Japan one to nothing in just a great, great game. Victory for Louisville, Kentucky. Tremendous group of little leaguers. Swung at that high heat. And that's two strikeouts for Tanaka to start this game. Talked about in the open, he's, he's got great stuff and he keeps him off balance with that curveball. It was a nice look at a high, hard fastball coming right at you. When you're throwing that hard from that close of a distance, you have a tendency to chase pitches out of the zone and that's what's happening right now. Now here's Michael Broad. He does have those three home runs, but he's been on base only 44% of the time, which is not amongst the leaders in Little League. And he goes fishing. We've seen him chase some high heat here this last week, too. Well, it's such a, the most difficult pitch to hit at this age is anything off speed. Because all you practice is fastballs. Oh! And that's something that you, you learn and grow as you become uh, more accustomed to playing. Travis taking a hard one look ball, out there, strike. trying to get a read on uh, fastball off speed pitch. He's not easy to read either with this motion. He keeps it the same on both pitches so far. <laughs> Up into the 90s now. And he's ahead in the count again, looking to strike the side out here. One ball, two strikes. So, what kind of a two strike hitter Michael is tonight? Oh. Tough play right there. I was getting ready to talk about June Anozawa, the catcher. He was the only guy who could catch Tanaka. That's how he got the assignment a couple of years ago when they were they were playing on a little on a younger team, and he be, just became a catcher. He's actually an outfielder. Tanaka weighs 180 pounds, and he has struck out the side here in the bottom of the first inning. So the youngsters. From Boynton Beach know now that they've got their hands full with the powerful right-hander from Tokyo. Through one, remember in Little League competition, legal game, six innings, and we're scoreless after one. Hey, what's with the long faces on YouTube? We figured you just didn't want to tell us in front of the other guys. Tell you what? Well, I mean... I did give up 15 hits. And I kind of dropped six easy fly balls. Seven. Well, thanks a lot. So, what's the problem? You mean, you want us to play? I wouldn't have it any other way. See you at practice. At Honda, we're proud to be a sponsor of Little League Baseball. Tuesdays this fall, Eight Simple Rules invites you back for an all-new season and an all-new look. No, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it, no, no, just... Please watch Eight Simple Rules. Thank you. Go to your rooms. Same Go father, rooms. same rules. Eight Simple Rules returns Tuesdays this fall at 8, 7 central on ABC. Chevy Silverado. No brag, just fact. Fact, car and driver's best pickup for an unprecedented three years straight. Fact, Silverado 1500 has more available towing capacity than Ford F-150 and every other half-ton pickup. Now, current Chevy owners and lessees can get a 2003 Chevy Silverado two-wheel drive regular cab for around $15,365. See your Connecticut Chevy dealer today. Chevy drives Connecticut. Everyone procrastinates. Did you mow the lawn? Mm, not yet. D did you call the dentist? Mm-mm. This can't wait. Call 1-800-CHAMPION today to refinance your home with the best rates in decades. Champion Mortgage works with you one-on-one -on -one to help slash your mortgage payments. Use the extra cash for big expenses, home improvements, credit cards. Why wait? Did you call Champion? Absolutely. Rates as low as 4%. Don't miss out. Call 1-800-CHAMPION for your free consultation. Champion says yes. Injured? Call 1-800-HAMOND, the winning team. mentioned last year top of the first inning Aaron Alvey at bat for Louisville a home run and Alvey then made that run stand up he was overpowering
striking out 11 of the Japanese hitters. The final out. And Kentucky wins a title for the United States, and uh, at least one of the players has come back, and he's with Sam now. All right, Brian, Ethan Henry, Justin Elkins from that world championship team last year. Ethan, what was it like when you look around and you see all these people here, not only to play in this environment, but to win it all? Uh, I was really nervous uh, all, watching all these people watching you and stuff, but once you get out there on the ball field, all of it goes away. Now, how long did it take you guys to really realize what you accomplished? How long did it take for it to sink in? About a year. I didn't realize what I've done until I got here, watching these kids play. Some really awesome teams out here. What about you, Justin? Well, it took me about three or four months, and then it really sunk in on me. And now you come back here on your family vacation, right? Right. You guys are having fun, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. All righty, back up to Brent. Thanks, Sam. What a wonderful performance that was. Just a great scene here in South Williamsport. And our aerial coverage for today's Little League World Series is courtesy of the Outback Steakhouse Airship. Bloom and Onion won. And uh, we've reached the second inning here. As you look down on the great crowd, Omede, the cleanup hitter, steps in. He's been on base 78% of the time for the Japanese team. Ball. To make it out is one ball. Something must be wrong with this. 78% of the time you're on base. I like that. Played baseball a long, long time with a 78% on base percentage. He's really starting to bring the heat. Mid 90s. When you mentioned playing playing baseball, Shigeki Omeda, he was a soccer player. Never played baseball until he watched the Japanese team in 2000 on TV and said, "I want to play baseball." Beautiful grab by Travis. <laughs> How about that smile, Brent? It's a heck of a play. It's a line drive. He takes a step back. That is one tremendous athletic move. And that is two outstanding defensive plays by Boynton Beach already in this game. Onozawa steps in. He's been on base 44% of the time. Brent, look how close, how much he's choking up on the bat. That was one of the strategies in our meeting this morning. We met with the coach, and he said, we're going to choke up and try to put the ball in play. It's halfway up the barrel. And we were talking to Omai. He was uh, laughing about how he had watched Young Broad pitch against Arizona on television, and, of course, he saw the numbers flash up there on the uh, on the screen into the, into the high 90s. And he, he just sort of chuckled because he admitted he hadn't faced anybody in this competition who throws as hard as broad. But uh, Michael's question now is going to be finding the strike zone. Well, I think they have him thinking way too much. You know, the other night he threw probably five off-speed pitches in the whole six-inning game. We've already seen him bouncing balls to the plate, throwing them to the screen, instead of just going ahead and picking the corners like he talked about in his early interview before the game started. Ozawa choking up, slaps one foul down the right field line. Two observations early about the Japanese players in this game. They've been patient. They're not helping him out. They're not swinging at bad pitches. And they have been making contact. More contact than Arizona did early against Young Broad the other night. Almost a defensive swing is that one. Pounds in on him at 96 miles an hour from the big league pitch. That was hit it or get hit. This ball tails right back at him. And I'm telling you, if he doesn't put that in play, he's taking one right off the, the right forearm. It's a good thing he fouled it off. Making him work. They've done that at both innings, Gerald, and that could add up in a little league game. See, I think the one thing that we haven't seen is the catcher off the plate. You know, that wide strike that you can get in Little League Baseball. They haven't tried to exploit that. 
you know, if, if they try to pitch to a major league zone and call a major league zone in Little League Baseball, we'll be here all night. So that's one of the advantages you have in Little League. You can go off the plate a little bit and still be able to get that strike. It's just being called from the dugout. Broad, of course, fastball thrower. The count of 2-2 two, two and one out here in the top of the second inning. Bad. Interesting about Michael Broad, he plays on a junior varsity team. He plays shortstop at a very high level. And the first time he's pitched has been this summer for this Little League All-Star team from South Florida. Got the corner that time, 96 miles an hour. Well, tomorrow night, join Al, John, and Lisa Guerrero in Denver. An NFL preseason special coming your way. The Colts and the Broncos. How will the Broncos do this year with Jake Plummer as their new quarterback? We to see what John Madden has to say about that. Tomorrow night, 8 Eastern on ABC. Plummer was an interception waiting to happen late in his stint down with the Arizona Cardinals, and we'll see how he makes out there in Denver with coach Shanahan Shanahan has been very successful but uh, that team hasn't been quite the same without one Mr. Elway 95 I mean everything is a mid 90s right down here and really that's all he's got a feature he doesn't have to worry about messing around with trying to throw off speed just go ahead and move the catcher in and out and try to throw it by that is hard to hit a ball that fast pretty pitch I can't tell you saying strike or ball. See, that's TV again. I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting about Broad? He is now starting to go to that camp with he did it repeatedly against Arizona. He seems to be getting in a little bit of a groove. He's got two out here. A little more comfortable back into his normal little routine. Never breaks a sweat, folks. This is cool hand Luke. Target set up late. Ground ball, base hit right field. The second hit for the Japanese team, Yamazaki. Just getting ready to say I'm so impressed with the approach of these young men. Took his time. He waited for Michael Broad to go through all his touching the cap and trying to pick up his motion. Didn't even put his bat up and then he got himself ready to hit. Ipe Endo. I think you can see why Japan has given the major leagues Ichiro and Matsui when you watch these youngsters how disciplined they are the practices that we have seen here the last couple of weeks. Take this sport very very seriously and the Japanese when they come in here it has struck me through the last decade they play it really as a team game. Now yeah, there's individual statistics but uh, but they really bond together as a group. Now here's Endo. In the second. So there's the uh, the list right there and uh, they've achieved a great deal. Harold that group. Really come over and, and adjusted well. It's a different style of game, the American game than the Japanese game, and they've really caught on. One one and two out. Ball. It is interesting to me how the United States has balls, exported strike. baseball much more successfully than, say, Europe or South America has been able to import soccer into this country. Now, just think about that for a moment. Think about how baseball has grown, especially over in Asia. Ball. And it was nice to see, uh, Harold, that Taipei has come back into the fold. They stayed out of it for a couple of years, but uh, they competed. And I think this Japanese team beat them like 16 or 17 to 1 in the regional over there. So we're looking at a powerful team with uh, the daughter of the manager, one of the coaches watching from the dugout. You know, you're watching Michael Broad. All of a sudden, he got a 1 1 count, and the runner went to second. He threw three straight off speed pitches. You know, they're thinking way too much. You need to just let him go ahead and play the game. So Irene will call the pitches from the uh, Boynton Beach dugout. Father of the shortstop. Two on and two out. The Japanese team threatening again. And Maibashi, who's been on base only 13% of the time. And uh, with a youngster like this, you would expect Broad just to keep bringing fastball after fastball at him and not mess around here. 
Again, all of the hitters choking up against him. Broad should handle it himself. Does. So the Japanese team leaves a couple of runners stranded. They have threatened twice, but Michael Broad has wiggled free and we're still scoreless. So uh, are you telling us, Mr. Billy. Mr. Billy, that you have found something that you agree with your mom's on? That is correct, Senator. And what would that be? Chuck. We like it. Our moms like that we like Even it. Even without the marshmallow buffs and bright colors, you'll happily eat Chuck. That is correct, Senator. You do realize that Chex is low in sugar. Did you know that? No one. There's one cereal they like that you want them to like. Chex. Everyone's on the same square. Who voted for these guys? Not me. And he drops the throw. Completes the underneath pass. Wow, what a hit. <laughs> Throws to his back. Complete. He takes it to the 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, Raiders. <laughs> Rated E for everyone. What's wrong, hon? I brought the wrong color. I can't go out like this. <laughs> it can't be all that bad. <laughs> I guess we're not going out back. I'll get my coat. There's no place like Outback. Brand new center cut filet and decadent chocolate thunder. Looking pretty rare, Mrs. D. Thank you. Outback Steakhouse. No rules, just right. I am Kenyan. Scientists have spent millions of dollars to find out why I'm fast. They say it's the high altitude. They say it's my special Kenyan diet. They don't know why, but I'm fast. Very, very fast. I don't need these shoes. Maybe you do. Do I have to ask? Do I? Do I? Well, okay. Are you ready for me? Are you ready for me? Because I'm ready for some football. The season begins September 4th on ABC with NFL Kickoff Live starring Britney Spears, Mary J. Blige, Aerosmith, and Aretha Franklin, plus the Jets versus the Redskins. Are you ready? This fall. I was calling your cell phone the whole way home. Why didn't you answer? That is my cell phone. Faith Ford and Kelly Ripa in Open Faith, part of the all-new TGIF on ABC. Does an umpire earn a trip to the Little League World Series? He learns how to dance. <laughs> Let's check in and see what Grant Paulson has found cooking down there. Well, with every baseball game comes hot dogs, snow cones, and bubble gum. With me, I have Matt and Zach, and they're going to have a bubble gum blowing contest. Let's go, guys. They're on the first baseline. Who's got the biggest bubble? Matt's off to a good start. Zach's got the bubble coming out of his mouth. Matt, come on, guys. Who's got the biggest bubble? Matt's got it. It's Pop. Zach's coming. Matt, Zach, who's it going to be? No, there it is. Zach's got the biggest one so far. Matt, what do you have? Let's go. No big bubbles so far. Down the stretch they come. Matt. And Zach, here we, there it is. That is your winner. Zach has won the bubble gum contest, an intense baseball game, an intense bubble gum contest. Grant, what do you think? Down the stretch they come, Grant. <laughs> how about the sign, Grant? Lots of, I don't know how many dads want to meet Sam, but a lot, of, a lot of young fellas want to meet Sam, I'll tell you that. And I certainly can't blame them. <laughs> but don't tell the moms. <laughs> okay, bottom of the second inning now, and Boynton Beach, and here comes the young man has had himself a heck of a World Series. Here is Richie DeJesus, the third baseman from Boynton Beach. You know, a couple of years ago, there was a team from Apopka, Florida. That's a town not too far from Orlando. And to get here, they beat the youngsters from Boynton Beach. So uh, this year, they got a little bit even, and they were able to get through Apopka. And there's a nice pitch. Now, Richie DeJesus, what was it, Harold, that uh, Kenny told us that he was about two for 40 coming in here, and now he has just smoked the ball, been on base 60% of the time. Cut on fire. Oh. But this curveball and change of speeds by Tanaka really has the uh, Floridians off balance here. He's got to see the batting average there. Tanaka has been fantastic. 
particularly the breaking pitch because he's kept him off balance so so good. Richie's got a nice little set stance ready to let it fly. Great breaking ball. Mm -hmm. That's the fourth strikeout for Tanaka in this game. Travis one of the victims earlier. You look down on one of the grand scenes Lamedy Stadium here in South Williamsport. Forty one thousand we are told is the crowd on hand for this championship game. R.J. Neal stepping in and Tanaka is working on a gym here in the early going. Four up and four strikeouts. I suppose Harold, my question now is would it be a good idea to put a bunt down and make Tanaka feel the ball a little bit. Absolutely. Anytime you get in a situation where a pitchers on a roll it's not bad to put a bunt down. The other thing he's doing now he's two and two and oh he's down this at this batter but he's been hitting that first fastball it, for a strike and that's set up everything else. You're going to have to work against this young man. Right down the middle, and that's 96 miles an hour. That's up there with Broad, and now you get that wicked little breaking ball when he changes up on it. And uh, what we said at the top of the broadcast, we expect runs to be scarce with these two on the mound. Well, you see the bug that Brent and I are talking about will drop down below the scoreboard. It'll be one speed would be the Little League equivalent, equivalent at 46 miles an hour, and then the Major League, what it would be if it was a Major League pitcher. RJ Neal slapping one back. RJ hit the first of four home runs for Boynton Beach last night against Saugus Mass. And again, congratulations to those youngsters from Massachusetts. They uh, played a game for the ages, and so do those youngsters from Texas. With seven innings, 14, 13, Saugus advancing. They'll be talking about that game for years and years here in Williamsport. Count is full now on RJ Neal. Straight back. He's got a nice approach. And he's choked up on the bat, too. This allows you to use your hands a little bit and accelerate him. Here's a good look at trying to get that fastball by him. And a base runner, the first one of the night. And a quick program reminder. This fall now, when two opposite sisters live under the same roof, things are going to get well messy. Faith Ford and Kelly Ripa are hope and faith. Coming Fridays this fall, part of the all-new TGIF on ABC. Run around at first here in Lamity Stadium. And Cody Emerson, last night's winning pitcher and the uh, son of the manager. Kenny Emerson steps in now. And there was that bunt you were talking about. He showed it, but maybe he missed a the sign. They want him to swing the bat. No. Joe, Joe, Joe. And his warm up swings, tell him to take his hands out and his warm up swings. I don't care if he's button or what, but take him out. One ball. Cody's been on base only 14% of the time here at Williamsport. It's tough for the kids too. With I, I, I've seen Tanaka a few times looking at the umpire, like I don't know if you're calling a ball or a strike, because he makes the same sound on both a ball and a strike. Ball. Two balls and one strike. Two balls, one strike. R.J. Neal, the runner at first, cannot leave until the pitch reaches the hitter. The little league rule, looking for mass cam. Ball. Snapped that one off pretty good. Now another 3 1 count. When you take a look at the percentage of pitches that Tanaka has thrown. Only way I want you to swing. He's not throwing strikes, so you're going to take it. Hey, track it all the way back into the glove. Look at it. Coming in here in the eight innings he worked, only 62% strikes, which is lower than the other two teammates on the. On the Japanese squad, who throws 70 percent of the time, throws strikes, and now he's gone three-one again, and they want another base runner, and he just pounds this one right down the middle. Count is full now with one out. Three balls, two strikes, full count. R.J. ready. Past him. 
That is five strikeouts. All five of the outs for the Japanese team have been strikeouts by Big Tanaka and Benny Townend, who's been on base 27 percent of the time, steps up now for Boynton Beach. His whole life, all Tanaka wants to do is play baseball. He says he wants to be a, a major league baseball player, play in Japan, and maybe come to America and play. The Japanese manager telling us that uh, the ladder progresses from amateur baseball in Japan to the Japanese League and then to the big leagues in the United States. They look at the the bigs in the U.S. as the premier league fouled away. And uh, Matsui, he said, would be their big hero. Yankee games, Mariner games, shown all the time over in Japan, especially in Tokyo, where this team is from. And so many of them uh, admire those two great players. One on one now the count. I think anytime you get an account two and one one and oh three and one you got to be ripping at that fastball and they're these both these kids are throwing that hard you got to jump on it. Those are the counts you know. 90% of the time that's going to be a fastball and anytime you know it's going to be a fastball you can slow it down a little bit and be able to catch up to it. Now the concessions are great here. Got him six strikeouts in two innings. So Tanaka a dominating force so far. We have played two innings. We are scoreless. And Tanaka is working on a gym. There's nothing worse than being ready to go and your car won't. So we're ready in advance. Ready with the right equipment, the right people, and the right parts. All at ready to go, low prices. And if it's your battery, we'll install it for free. So bring it on. We're ready in advance. For the best parts, people at price. We're ready in advance. Yeah, bring it on. Introducing the 7-Up Parade Balloon. It's going to make people want the refreshing taste of 7-Up. And it's completely realistic. I even gave it a pull tab. his destiny to take things one step further. Can you hear me now? Now, there's a push to talk from Verizon Wireless. Brought to you by America's most reliable wireless network. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Grab a Snickers almond. Milk chocolate, nougat, caramel, and you guessed it, almonds. Hungry? Grab a Snickers almond. This fall, two high school teachers are going to show you how to hook up. Do you like to swing? With a movie star. This is Alex Young. No way. Way. Introducing I'm With Her. Yes, say is like a bad boy. Alex Young's a bad boy school teacher. Coming Tuesdays this fall to ABC. In 1989, Chris Drury pitched Trumbull, Connecticut past Taiwan. Fly ball, deep left field, McGrath is there, it's over! Trumbull wins it! Today, instead of a baseball, it's pucks. Chris won a Stanley Cup with the Colorado Avalanche in 2001. And since winning that Stanley Cup, he's been up, I believe it was Calgary, and now with the Buffalo Sabres. And uh, another ex-Little Leaguer, 
Sean Dunstan is with us tonight. Let's go to Sam. That's right, Brent. And the recipient of the Bill Shea Distinguished Graduate Award this evening here at the Little League World Series. The number one pick in the 82 draft, 18-year career, but it all started with Little League. What Little League memory really stands out in your mind, Sean? Uh, the first time we put our uniform on and we went out there just to play, and I was pitching, and I got hit around a little bit. I said, well, that's not my position. I had a great story. Now, I understand Sean Jr. Plays the league as well? Yes, he does. He plays like in, in, by the Bay Area in Fremont. And he has something he wants to say? Yeah. Uh, I'll say something to Barry Bonds. Barry, we have you in our prayers and we love you. Okay. What a nice, what a nice thought that is by Sean Jr. Of course, Barry's father, Bobby Bonds, passing away. At, at too young an age, he's been battling a brain tumor and cancer and uh, Barry has left the San Francisco Giants for a time to come back. Barry and Bobby were extremely close. And uh, Bobby was one of the first players in Major League history who combined great raw power with, uh, with base stealing ability. And, uh, and uh, what a legacy left behind his son, uh, one of the greatest of all time he's going to go down as. And now Sakamoto will lead it off here in the top of the third inning. One we're more. scoreless through two. That's a shame. I'd like to send my condolences to the family also. Our third baseman De Jesus expecting the bunt. They're creeping right in on him. Now that's a little dangerous proposition because if he doesn't pull the ball, it's going right at De Jesus. Bringing some heat, get them <laughs> off the plate. Two balls and a Two strike. Ball, one strike. <laughs> you know, you love the challenge and you see the smile. It gets back in there and goes, man, that was pretty fast. I think Michael Broad realizes now very little margin of error against Tanaka. And he's down 3 1 in the count. And uh, the number nine hitter for Japan will be looking to get on base here. Well, we've got two outstanding pitchers tonight, and that zone is awful tight. It's not the normal wide liberal zone we see in Little League Baseball. Taken all the way. Tanaka watching from the dugout. He bats third in the lineup, so he would be the fourth hitter. He could come up there with a base runner. Michael trying to battle back now. 3 2. Got him. And that's the third strikeout for Michael. Well, a reminder Labor Day weekend. Tiger Woods and British Open champ Ben Curtis head the field in Boston at the inaugural Deutsche Bank Championship. That's a brand new Arnold Palmer design course that will host its first PGA Tour event. Coverage begins next Sunday, 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific, right here on ABC. Moving to the top of the Japanese lineup now. Nakahara, who struck out, up for the second time. Man, that was serious, the young man is saying. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Trying to catch up to it, but this is a tough top of the order. They battled him the first time around, and we were talking about the second time seeing Tanaka. Same thing with Michael Brod. Now watch the strategy of Weaver, the catcher. He's trying not to set up. I think they thought the first time around they might have been tipping the pitches off. A lot of gamesmanship at this level. Watch how late he gets into it. He's set up outside, but the ball's going to go back in. Base hit left field. Headed down into the corner. Nakahara on the turn. Goes to second. Going to try to get to third. The relay. Then he sees the tag. Got him. A slick throw by Jordan Irene on the relay. The defense is bailing him out tonight. We've talked about fundamental baseball. Here's the throw into third and the tag. Awful close again. What's the relay from the shortstop? No hesitation. He got it right to him. And, oh, I think he might have snuck in there, Brent. A couple close plays. That lead leg seemed to get there and uh, looks like he's running through the stop sign. There was no doubt about it in that replay. Yamada holding up his hands, didn't want him to come, and then now he says, get down. And watch that lead foot. It appeared to get in there just before the tie, but the one thing that the umpire had going for him that time, ball beat the runner. 
And sometimes you just don't get the call when the ball beats the runner. And that one clearly did that. Got a break. Two out now. And here comes Omai. He doubled back in the first inning. So they're making contact against Michael Broad. That is three defensive plays that you star if you keep in score oh. for Boynton Beach. A double play on a fly ball to left field. Line drive to Travis at second. And now that slick relay from Irene on the base hit. And De Jesus gets the call at third base. You know it's unusual to see as much family as we have here. Uh, Omai's mom here and of course the one ball, one mother of both the manager and one of the coaches. One one with two out. That's a colorful garb there on the Japanese side don't we. Mm -hmm. I love seeing all the different cultures represented when you come here. I even saw a wedding this Little League World Series. A manager ball, from Guam got married 9 a.m. one morning here at the Little League World Series. Never know what you're going to see. <laughs> Two and one. Got the call. So the Russian team watching the final here. They won their first game. The Little League competition. Texas. We're doing a little pin trading over there in the stands. We got three, two, and two out now. How many pins does it take? Got him. Strikeout number four. Bottom of third is coming up. Pitcher's duel continues. We're back after this message and word from our ABC station. Oatmeal Crisp Fruit and Cereal Bars. Real Oatmeal Crisp Cereal layered with real fruit. Delicious, crispy, not your usual fruit and cereal bar. New Oatmeal Crisp Fruit and Cereal Bars. It's the cereal bar with the cereal crunch. Let's get married tonight. Oh, 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 oh. I'm freaking Louie, not! Almost Fruit Loops. A sissy lumberjack? Irish Catholic baboon Republican nightmare. Blame Clinton. It's all relative. Coming out Wednesdays this fall on ABC. When we designed the Nissan Altima, we put our foot down and came up with a thrilling Nissan engine, a class leading oversized interior, and a breakthrough design. And now, just announced, the 2003 Nissan Altima with a $219 per month lease. Nissan Altima. The fun and excitement of live racing action is right around the corner. Connecticut OTV. Play the $30,000 Saratoga Races to Riches contest at select locations and cash in on the fun. Any way you want it, it's the way you need it, any way you want it. It's the Ford Authorized Clearance. Now get incredible 0% financing for five full years on Ford Explorer, the number one selling SUV on the planet. Explorer has a smoother ride and a roomier interior. And now with incredible 0% financing or just $275 a month. Plus, get a no-charge moonroof during the Ford Authorized Clearance. Any way you want it, it's the way you need it. Connecticut's biggest water park is now even bigger with Clifford Cove. The three defensive gyms and the two good breaks that went Florida's way. First, 
The throw from Overton, the double play, and Weaver gets the call at home plate. Then Travis with the slick snare on the line drive, bid for a hit. Then the relay by Irene, and Jesus gets the call at third base. And as a result, we are scoreless, going to the bottom of the third inning of the championship game between Japan and the United States. Boynton Beach, Florida. And uh, these Floridians, man, they can play some football, and do they ever love it? And we're just about coming into that time, folks. Triple header next Saturday. 12 Eastern will start at Missouri, Illinois, or Georgia Clemson. Then at 3.30, Oklahoma State against a favorite Nebraska team. A lot of folks think Okie State can do it this year. Saturday primetime, Washington, Ohio State, Florida State against North Carolina. So all the excitement of college football starts next Saturday. Harold Reynolds is a huge college football fan. I love it. Out of that menu right there, though, I wonder, will Nebraska be able to bounce back after last season? Well, it's going to be very interesting to see what Jamal Lord does. You know, they've changed the offense a little bit. We've got two guys that are pitching pretty good right here. Here, Tanaka and Broad. You can see that Tanaka still working on that no no. And all six of the outs have been caged by the big fella. Michael Broad watching from the dugout. And here's the left fielder, Matt Overton, stepping in. Good looking swing, but he is bringing the heat. Well, and now I think you go ahead and try to drop the bunt. You talked about that earlier, Brent. Anytime a pitcher gets in that kind of rhythm, you want to try to move him off that mound, put the ball in place somehow. Matt's been on base only 17% here the last couple of weeks. Damn, would he love a walk right now? 1-1. One, one. There's the uh, the pitch count. 40. Only three of them have been strikes. Bottom of the third in. Mid 90s, that's equivalent, Major League Baseball. One ball, two strikes. That's parents nervously watching hard for the parents. Boy, they fidget over there in this <laughs> thing. There's nothing they can do. The youngster's just having a great time. One and two. Got him, and there is seven outs and seven strikeouts. He is smoking them down. And the key has been getting ahead. Once he gets ahead, you don't know if that fastball or the breaking ball is coming out. He's been throwing that fastball high and hard. This one's down in the zone, so he's been able to do everything he wants. Up, down, in, and out. And when you get ahead of the hitters, that allows you to do that. Here's the catch of Weaver. And on base 20% of the time. And this would be something. Can he possibly get nine strikeouts in three innings? Absolutely amazing. Throws a fastball first pitch strike. Then he says, okay, I'll show you. I can throw the curveball for the first pitch strike. Interesting hat style there, Harold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's and, speaking of hat styles, there's Cody. Had a skew. Hop said he started that when he was five years old and hasn't changed. Fouls it off. And Emerson's other son, Kenny said, just prim and proper, always wore the caps great. <laughs> Get that here's too heavy, man. That one. Yeah, you see, or this one. Down or this one. A light TPX. Get up on the plate and hit the ball hard for a base hit somewhere. Trying to find the lightest bat he can. Man. Get you like that. And you gotta hit a fastball. One and two. Bull. Gonna taste their own medicine. They figure we'll throw Michael Broad out there, figure it out. Now they see what it's like. And the amazing thing out of that stat right there, seven and eight batters in his face has struck out. Only one walk. His control has been incredible. The game being watched in Tokyo. Huge story, as you can imagine, in Japan. Count full now with one out. Tanaka has walked one, in case you just joined us. Has not given up a hit yet. All seven of the Japanese outs have been Tanaka strikeouts. There's the second walk. And we move to the top of the order. 
Here comes Devin Travis. He was the first strikeout victim. And let's see what they learned the first time around. You don't see now, now, right? You don't see this gas. Be ready for it, all right? Work it on your own. Get what you want. Feel comfortable. You're on your own, baby. Hey. Devin Travis has really seen the ball well so far in this competition. Oh! Got away from the catcher, and dashing to second is Weaver. That's the first base runner to reach second base for Boynton Beach. And a chance now to break through here. Can't leave the base till it reaches the batter. You see the runner not going, but he's throwing so hard that just got lost in the web and slipped away. Center fielder is shaded over to right, not expecting Travis to pull the ball, but the left fielder is playing him pretty straight up. There you can see the left fielder, and you can uh, over to center, over to the right, the top of your screen, shading over to the uh, the right field side of of second base, and the right fielder looking at that line. One one and one out. So they're making you be Tanaka focused, relax. Lighten up your grip. You're too the tight. Count. I see count. this. All right, if it's here, let's go. Relax it. Looking for contact from Devin Travis. No, he didn't go. Did he go? Did he go? Did not. Three and one as a result. No, he didn't go. I like the sign. So see the catcher twirling the hands and see if he went. Three balls, one strike. That's the pitch he's got to hit right here. He's going to get a fastball. Weaver at second. Ball. And two runners on. The third walk by Tanaka. It means that unless there's a double play, Michael Broad will get an at bat. Here's Jordan Irene. He'll be followed by Michael Broad, and here comes Oman. And it looks like he's making a change, which would be. No, the left fielder started in. No, I don't think that's why he was signaling. I think he was repositioning. Yeah, when, when you come out to talk to your pitcher, we've noticed the rules. They want you to stick to just talking to the pitcher and they've been running the managers off because all of a sudden they start adjusting defense and everything else. Our interpreter in the truck say that oh my used the word focus. Okay. Yeah they, they signal for the left fielder who thought he was being called all the way in. He, he actually wanted the outfield to move in and as you can see. As you can see, the outfielders have really shortened up now as a result of Omai's visit to Tanaka. So with one out, two runners on here for Florida, here's Irene. Just a little breather and uh, gave Tanaka a rest in the middle of this situation. Good visit by Omai. Just calm things down a little bit. But it's still 0-2. Look talked, for that, all right? about hey, this. What we've been working on, see it. Don't let that come up here. Let that hot cheese go, okay? Hey. Michael brought the next hitter. I don't see the dancing on the bases that we saw last night from the kids from Florida. Not very aggressive. And I think a lot of well, sometimes when you got a pitcher shutting you down, that's all you think about. You don't play the other facets of the game. Yeah. Exactly. It's a different mood. You're exactly right. And he's got him. That's his eighth strikeout. And now power are against power. Tanaka against Broad. Slowly coming out of that dugout. 
They've been pitching Grout a lot of off-speed pitches. James Bond would come up with something in this situation. And the pitcher is getting his signal directly from their coach. Yes, you can do that. A little league baseball you can? Yes, sir, you can. As long, the, the rule says he must take the pitch, the sign from the catcher while on the rubber. It doesn't say he can't also take the sign from the coach. Said so you can do it. Trying anything to get an edge. Two out, bottom of the third. Here's Michael Groff. Is him, Richie De, De Jesus is next. And if you're wondering, do they have other pitchers? They have seven pitchers on this roster. Hey, baby, this is your count, okay? This is your count. A 2 0. He's got to come with you with a strike. He doesn't want to go a 3 0, okay? If he comes out in that middle with a fastball, I want you to punch it, okay? All right? Don't worry about nothing else. It's your count. Batter's count. Good sound advice. It's a matter of execute. Two runners on here for Boynton Beach. Ball. Goes to three and up. He's really pitching around it. Think they cut him loose? Might as well. Yeah, I agree. I think they cut him loose right here. He did. Now it's three and one. Weaver's the base runner at second. Now it's full. Tanaka getting a little extra on that ball. Tanaka looking for his ninth strikeout. Broad looking for Florida's first base hit. Two runners on. Count full. Remarkable. Nine outs. All strikeouts. Through three innings. Boynton Beach leaves two runners stranded. As Tanaka overpowering here. Through three innings. news from the world of amateur sports brought to you direct from the milk house at disney's wide world of sports sponsored by gut milk while most of the media attention was on jeffrey jordan 14 year old son of michael jordan the ohio greyhounds sprinted to their 208th consecutive victory in the aau 14 and under national championship oj mayo scored 21 points in his team's 61 to 49 victory over portland elite put milk on your training table for the nine essential nutrients active bodies need brought to you by gut milk School shopping can take you away from other things. It's okay. It's okay. She'll walk it up. Mommy's okay. Unless you go to Staples, where back to school shopping is easy. We've got all the supplies on your list, well organized and easy to shop, so you can get on to other things. Hi, Peggy. Instead of missing them. Back to school shopping at Staples. That was easy. Success. It's a lot easier when Lincoln's working with you. See your financial advisor or call 1-877-ASK-LINCOLN for details.
Charlie Brown's going to the show. If you can get some help. I trade you Lucy for anyone. An all-new special sure to be a hit. Lucy must be traded. Charlie Brown at 9, 8 Central, ABC Friday. Now a special feature at the Little League World Series. Our Harold Reynolds takes a look at the outfield relay with Patrick Mullen from the Southeast and Alexei Kozin from Russia in our Outback Steakhouse Little League building block feature. Today we're going to talk about the outfielder hitting his target on a relay. Now Alexi here is going to run and be the shortstop, be the relay man. Patrick is going to be our outfielder. Basically what the outfielder is going to try to do is field the ball and hit the infielder in an area like this where he still has the ability to catch it and run. Patrick fields it, comes up nice crow hop, throws, hits him on target. That was perfectly done and that is how you make the relay play from the outfield. And we've already seen one great perfect relay by Irene at Boynton Beach. And these great views of the Little League World Series are being provided by the Outback Steakhouse Airship, the Bloomin' Onion One. Great overhead shots wouldn't be possible without the Bloomin' Onion. And I think I heard we're going to have them in some NCAA college football action this year, which will be great. So that replay that you were talking about. Here it is, perfect, Harold. Well, I hit him in the letters, and the shortstop, without hesitation, made the throw. It's perfect. It took two great throws to get him, so I like the base runner going, the aggressiveness. It had to be perfect to get him. Well, here comes the, the hero of the moment for the Japanese nine, Mitaro Tanaka. Ooh. His parents, amongst the Japanese contingent, watching from over here. And and they have to be awfully proud. Nine strikeouts through three innings. Fantastic. What a performance. And the last to come back and get broad with three straight strikes. He's got great power. He can help himself. He was going for it. <laughs> He's swinging so hard. <laughs> he wants that ball inside. If he leaves the ball in the outside half, he'll never hit it. He's just spinning out of there on everything. He's looking for the hill. <laughs> so all I need is one. Wait back, Sadaharo style, up on the toe. Thank you. Let's go to Sam. Well, Brent, Tokiko Tanaka, the Marvas, Anavas. <laughs> That says it all, Brent. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Nervous. And she will be as this game unfolds. Going for it again. And now, Michael's got him a 2-2. Michael Broad with four strikeouts of his own here tonight. He's given up three hits. No runs. Got to knock on that double play that fly to left earlier. Drive right field to the wall ground rule double Tanaka leads off with a double here in the fourth inning quite that bat now remember he was not he was wailing on everything therefore he wasn't going to catch a ball on the outside half they threw it down the inside half and he was able to pull it one hops out of here ground rule double Here's a meter. Thank you. Nice hit. These uh, these players are best of friends. Before the game even began, they were out dancing together with the mascot dugout. It was it was quite a scene. They bond together up there in the grove. The parents are kept away from them up there. It's just a wonderful, wonderful experience for the youngsters. One ball. Almeida was robbed of a base hit by Travis earlier in this game. Shortens the bunt foul. You see the rotation on the bunt. This is like a big league play. You got the third baseman and the first baseman coming in, and the second baseman and the shortstop breaking the cover first and third. The level these kids play at and what they're able to absorb is amazing to me. And the manager, oh my, knows it won't take many runs the way Tanaka's pitching here tonight. The Jesus shortening up again and on the corner for Broad. Remember, I mentioned this before the game. This was before we even started. Dugout out there with 
Devin Yamada, one of the coaches, and the kids are laughing. Travis on the other side. It was quite a scene out here. And with email today, they stay in touch and they can send emails to each other. It's not like you're picking up a pen trying to write. It's a little easier to communicate nowadays. Girl shrinks every day. Two two. No. That Rory Turley is the first base umpire from Winchester, Kentucky. He's had a couple of these check swings, and that one looked close. Now it's full. First two runners are on here in the fourth inning. See our catcher Andrew Weaver. He got a little extra padding before the game. Now he had a hand injury because Michael Broad throws so hard, and they built a pad for him to fit inside that glove. The Jesus can expect some action now. One was Zawa, two on and nobody out. And there's the bunt down toward first. Cody slips on it, and bases will be loaded with nobody out as Cody Emerson slips, making the play on the bunt. And I think he would have had a play at third base had he been able to, to wheel and throw. Now they play with rubber spikes, and we've seen this all week long. The kid's slipping on the grass, and once he slipped, he knew he had no play anywhere. Bases are loaded. And Yamazaki steps to the plate. No score. So Michael Broad in a bases loaded jam here against Japan, top of the fourth inning. Tanaka's on third base. And Broad just reaches back now. And the pressure really falls on Andrew Weaver, the catcher. Pass ball, wild pitch, anything going to that wall. De Jesus and on the grass at third. Irene ready at short. And Yamazaki did show bunt. One ball, one strike. Now, if you're thinking squeeze bunt and in regular baseball, remember the runners cannot move, cannot steal until it crosses the batter. Drops it down, foul, and uh, you would question this a little bit because of the ability of Michael Broad. Now, perhaps Omai saw Emerson slip, although you would, indications are from the dugout now, obviously, with two strikes. He doesn't want him bunting here, and they're making absolutely certain that he takes a rip, but somewhat surprised that they were bunting in that situation only because Michael Broad is just an outstanding fielding pitcher. He didn't get a crack at that one because it was such a good bunt. One ball, two strikes. Bases are loaded now. One ball and two strikes. Yamazaki, I believe, is bluffing this time all the way. Ball. Right. Well, I thought it was interesting when they had you made of the uh, four hitter bunny the first pitch and then he went ahead and let him go ahead and swing but they end up walking him eventually. Let's see if Michael just ignores it fires it in there and does for strike three. Strikeout number five. Great play by the catcher talk about the importance of blocking the ball. Get a good look at this fastball down into the dirt. Nice. Kenny Emerson now What's coming up, out. Man? I just come out here, you know, just tell you you're doing a great job. Good job back there, guys. You're overthrowing a little bit, you know. We're doing a great job. Just keep doing what you're doing, all right? And obviously you're doing a good job. I right? see old Cody slip there. Just want to give you a little break. All right, go get him, kid. Go get him, baby. Now at this point, you really might want to think bunt. Here comes Endo, the seven hitter in the lineup, and uh, we may even have a pinch hitter here. Yes, that's uh, Shushkoda. Okay, we have 17. He's up. Pitch Number 17. For He's only been on base 18. 25% of the Endo. time. Endo. Coming up here for Endo. For and I think okay, the right? Jesus yes. at third base better get ready. I think you're right. It's, it's a great play to bunt because now you force the defense to have to catch the ball and throw it. And that's not 
that easily done at this level. Sometimes they will slip and fall like we saw or make a wrong decision. And DeJesus starts to shorten up. Emerson comes in on the grass at first. Base is loaded for Japan. One out. We're scoreless. We're at the top of the fourth inning. This is the battle for the Little League Championship. And now he's down 0-2. Every player plays in Little League Baseball. It's a mandatory rule. You either have to have one at bat or three outs in the field. Line drive. Travis got it. Throw the first. No. But he got the important one, the hitter. Base is still loaded now, but there are two outs. What a decision by Devin Travis. Now he had the runner at second. It's amazing that he even went to first to think about turning that. Is that a smile, folks? <laughs> it just lights up this ballpark. For 19. Okay. And number 10, Ono. And he has been on base 60% of the time. He's coming up. Brent, I think Michael Rod's starting to labor a little bit too. This is going to be a tough A-B battle for him to get out. So Uno hit a home run the other day at a dead center field. An international championship game. Got that one right by him, Harold, at 98 miles an hour. I said, Harold, I'm not that tired. <laughs> <laughs> Can he pitch his way out of a bases loaded nobody out jam Boynton Beach fans are on their feet and I can just imagine throughout Florida they're up and watching now timeout's been called by Japan. It's 0 2 and all around this stadium. Folks are up now. This would be some masterful job. Oh no, wait. Oh, that was close. I mean, real close. Wow. Look at how close he is to the plate. He's on the plate. That's his strike. foot's way out of the batter's box. His right foot's out of the batter's box. That's a strike. <laughs> that ball was right over the inside corner. One ball, two strikes, and two out. Rounds it foul. <laughs> What's he supposed to throw the ball? If he hits him, it's still, he's over the plate. The plate umpire should back him out of there. The nerve of the young man to get on top of it. That takes a lot of guts to get right on top of the plate there. And absolutely giving Michael Bride nowhere to throw the ball. One and two. One hundred miles an hour. I'm telling you. He just keeps going back in there. Now he's on top of the plate. Believe it or not, hoping to get hit. A lot of courage. Bases loaded and two out. It's a ball, two strikes. Ono crowds and chokes up. That's out. He did go inside and get him. One nothing on the hit batter. And when you're calling the pitches from the dugout, that's something that you do not see. And so they didn't understand. They don't recognize that the hitter is. There's nowhere to throw the ball. His foot is clearly. So they're calling the pitches from the dugout and they call for a ball inside when really there is no inside. Great strategy if you can get away with it, and he did. 
Now Sakamoto, the slick fielding shortstop and the number nine hitter steps in for Japan. Two out. Japan breaks through. See the velocity going down. Michael Brodsky's just got to concentrate on trying to get through this hitter and maybe get out of this inning. Two balls and a strike. Base is loaded for Japan here. <laughs> Good to get out with any. More damage being done. I'm just thinking about oh no is that bat now Brent that is taking one for the team. <laughs> yes, that's it. It was. And another run trots home. So a hit batsman and now a walk. And Japan has scored twice here in the fourth. Well, he said he ain't okay, kid. And we're going to get another substitute. When we do that, I'm just thinking back to the one at bat where he crowded the plate, the strategy. You know, these kids work and practice so much. 14, and they listen and they're disciplined of what their coach asks and instructs them to do. Thank you. Thank you. See how far he is off the plate at the beginning of that bat. Now all of a sudden he gets two strikes and he says, you know what, I'm getting right on top of the plate. And when you get that close to the plate, there's nowhere for the pitcher to throw the ball. On the one pitch, the back foot was clearly out of the box. I'm not sure about the other ones. Hit in the air and deep. Goodbye. It is 6 nothing on the grand. Slam home run by Nakahara. And Japan opens up a huge lead here in the fourth inning. Hakuto Nakahara hits one 232 feet with the bases loaded. And that is the first home run Michael Brown has ever given up. You can see the velocity going down. And this is a fastball right down the middle, and he tattooed it, and he knew it, no doubt about it. And that's jubilation in any language. All you can say is, oh my. And here comes, oh my, out of the dugout with a bat. He'll be the next hitter. It is six nothing Tokyo. As a result, Michael Broad has been taken out of the game after the Grand Slam home run. And now eight different Japanese players have homered here. Time out. You know what's the biggest problem advertising a refreshing taste of 7-Up? Getting people to sit still for your commercials. Come on. Breathe. Well. Making sure you watch the whole thing. Pay attention. Here you go. Can't handle it. So, uh, are you telling us, Mr. Billy. Mr. Billy, that you have found something that you agree with your mom's own? That is correct, Senator. And what would that be? Chuck. We like it, and our moms like that we like it. Even without the marshmallow puffs and bright colors, you'll happily eat Chuck. That is correct, Senator. Did you do realize that Chuck's is low in sugar? Did you know that? No one. There's one cereal they like that you want them to like. Checks. Everyone's on the same square. Who voted for these guys? Not me.
Two new comedies, Married to the Kellys. Wow, nice. Store-bought cheesecake. And Hope and Fame. I'm a 28-year-old has-been. You're 33. Will you sh- Plus, Life with Bonnie. <laughs> you can have your way with me, just don't wake me up. The all-new TGIF, with a whole new look and a brand new attitude. Coming Fridays this fall to ABC. Coming in now to pitch is Irene. Broad replaces him at shortstop. If you go back in this inning, the critical moment came. Two on and nobody out. And an attempted sacrifice bunt down the first baseline. And Cody Emerson coming in for the play lost his footing. He had an easy put out at first base. And that could have opened up the floodgates because when you look down, all of the scoring came with two out. So a huge moment in this game. And Michael Broad back out at shortstop. Disappointed here tonight. Irene comes in. Tanaka now working with a six run lead in this championship game. And in case you just joined us, the powerful Japanese right hander has struck out nine. Boynton Beach hitters here tonight. All nine of the Japanese outs have been strikeouts. Well, I, I'm really impressed with the strategy of the Japanese team. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. They choked up on the bat early in the game. They took pitches, made Michael Broad work, and they really wore him down to the point where they got a good pitch to hit when he hit the grand slam. that ESPN Original Entertainment presents Playmakers, a new dramatic series about the lives of pro football players off the field. Playmakers premieres Tuesday at 9 Eastern on ESPN. It's also available in high definition on ESPN HD. This Tokyo team has been playing in high definition ever since they came to South Williamsport. The appeal on the... Uh, on the slam. The umpire says everybody's safe. All right. The ball is right. The ball's about the only thing that wasn't safe. He crushed that. He did. So now, oh my, the son of the manager. Ball. Last year's ball. Japanese team, a one nothing loser to Louisville. But here tonight, up 6-0 on Boynton Beach. Two years ago, Japan beat a Popka. Two last inning runs to pull that one out 2 1. Lomity rather quiet for the first time here tonight. Up for the grand slam by Nakahara. One ball, two strikes. Put a charge into that one. Great swing. Ball. Two two with two out. Two ball, two strike. Count. Remarkable statistic that eight of the 14 players have homered here in the go. Little League World Series the last couple of weeks. So what's really impressive is to have that many different youngsters. I, I agree. In a lineup with that kind of power, that's that's very unusual. Off 
Travis's glove. Base hit. The Japanese team has battled around here in the fourth inning. And here's the young man who started it all off with a double. Otoro Tanaka. As good an offensive player he's been, that may not be the topic of conversation. That's the catcher and dashing into second now is Omai. He's uh, got that no no working on the mound and just dominant. They haven't even put the ball in play, really. You ever seen anybody at any level strike out every hitter for the out? <laughs> no, I don't believe I've seen that. Never. I've seen a lot of things. It's enough to stick around and watch the rest of this game anyway, see what he can do. One ball, one strike. Never know where. It young athlete like this may wind up on a swinging strike away again and dashing into third is Omar. So a six run explosion here in the fourth inning and a grand slam home ball, run strikes. by Nakahara puts them up six nothing in this little league championship game and the youngsters from Tokyo nine outs away the pitchers working on a no hitter and he struck out it's one deep, deep, forget about it. This one's on the hill. A two-run blast, well over 240 feet up the famed hill here. <laughs> he is putting on a show. Started the inning with a double. Now a two-run home run.